Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. And I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. As you can tell on my channel, I also talk about baseball and everything. I'm like the Canadian tire of NHL programming. You can go there for the tires, but you can find everything else as well. That's right. We do uh, baseball picks, all that. But today, I'm going to start talking a lot more about some things that are going to be happening in the NHL because we got NHL free agency coming up. We got trades. It is going to be crazy. The league just said that they're going to start possibly thinking of some plans for to, to help teams with buyouts and uh, all of that sort of thing like that to make it a little easier out there because otherwise there's going to be a whole lot of sell-offs, a whole lot of players probably not – getting a job so I imagine that the union's behind this as well because there's going to be a lot of players that won't be given contracts at all uh, they'll be bought out and nobody will take them that's how the, the cap crunch is that bad, that bad I guess you could say so that being the case if you do have cap space right now uh, we don't know how that's all going to work out but we do know that back again we do know that it's going to uh, cause a lot of problems for teams and one team that's in desperate times right now is the tampa bay lightning so i thought what well, offer sheets offer sheets haven't happened very much you had montreal try what what they tried with aho last year which was silly apparently the reason why they tried that was that uh um the dundon told uh his, uh, oh, that he wouldn't do signing bonuses. He just wouldn't do it. So his agent talked to the Montreal people, Bergevin, and said, hey, you know what? He said he's not going to do signing bonuses. So if you offer sheet them and offer him a signing bonus, he's not going to sign it. He told me he's not going to sign a signing bonus. By the way, brilliant agent. Because he knows full well if somebody offer sheets him, he'll sign a signing bonus. So they're going to get their signing bonus. Bergevin takes the hook, takes it hook, line, and sinker, goes for it, looks really stupid, and then they end up signing it, and Bergevin looks like an idiot in the league. But that's besides the point. Now, with Tampa, it's a little different. Uh, they've got – they got to sign Sergachev. Uh, they got to sign – the guy that I'm going to be talking about right now that while I'm talking to just totally left my mind what his name is, Chernak. <laughs> so, I mean, you got offer sheet Sergejev, okay? You get offer sheet Chernak. And by the way, they're capped, totally capped. They'll be lucky if they get Chernak, Sergejev, even with signing Sergejev, which I'm sure will be their biggest priority, they're likely going to have to be asking their players, hey, you know, any of you guys willing to waive the no trade clause because we can't afford you. Uh, and uh, so that's, you know, they're talking about Palat, uh, Kalorn, all kinds of guys, uh, many uh, Gord, all kinds of guys that they're talking about, hopefully being able to waive their no trade clause and sending them off somewhere. So they can sign at least Sergachev, but that leaves Chernak out there that they can't sign. So what do we do? If you're the rest of the league, every there are so many teams in the league. I went down here like the Islanders, uh, some teams with some cap room. Detroit would probably be in on trying to give them an offer sheet, but they loathe to give up their first, so that's not likely. Ottawa. Uh, the New York Rangers could do it. Florida Panthers, if they, I don't know, they have an internal cap, but you never know. New Jersey Devils would be all over. Now, they're going to have to give up a very high first for this, okay? New Jersey Devils, if they decide to go that road uh, route. But are you are you going to get this? Talk about Chernak for a second. If you don't know, Chernak is a 1-2 defenseman on most teams close to already and still has a lot of upside. Great defenseman. Not somebody Tampa Bay wants to give up, but they've got Hedman, they've got Sergeyev. They have a lot of good defensemen there in Tampa Bay already. As you can tell, they're probably going to win the cup with what they've got. So the team that I really – there's two teams – that I think they'll make a big push here. Maybe three. Aforementioned New Jersey Devils. If the New Jersey Devils, 
And what would you have to offer? Uh, as it stands right now, Tampa Bay can't do much, but they will sign, they will match it and trade him if they have to. Uh, or they'll match it and trade somebody else to cover him or whatever. So you got to make it so it's going to be like, there's no way we're doing that, right? There's no way we're doing that. Compensation for an $8 million play at $8 million, and I think that's what you'd have to sign. Now, Chernak has not really proven himself to be a one-two yet completely. He is... He's probably, he's like 23 years old, 24 years old. He's still got a lot of upside. Probably play in the 3-4 in Tampa for the most part right now. If you offered $8 million a year for the full, you got to do the full seven years. You're going to be offering $8 million for the full seven years. The compensation would be a first, a second, and a third. Tampa now in order to match that, would not only have to trade players for to get room for Sergachev, they would have to trade players to get room for Chernak, in which case their offensive depth would take quite the big hit. Um, about the only reason why I would, or only way I could think that they could um, say yes to this is if Stamkos goes on long-term or something of that nature. Uh, I just don't, think that they can say yes if you do $8 million for seven years. It's very possible. It'd be tight. They might be able to do things to get Coburn off the books. Uh, possibly Coburn off the books. Uh, they'd have to probably look at trading Tyler Johnson. If you've already given up Kalorn, and Kalorn's not going to be enough, you're probably going to have to go with Try to get Coburn off the books, which he'll be off next year, but that only removes 1.7. Uh, they're going to be hard-pressed when they give Sergachev their, his money to be able to give Chernak that much money. Very hard-pressed. And I think that it's very possible that they give it up. So New Jersey Devils will be all over that. Now, if I'm Tampa Bay – and the New Jersey Devils make that offer because the New Jersey Devils do not have much for uh, do not have much for defense at all. Like they have a terrible defense right now. They're playing Garth. They're, they're playing Garth Butcher. They're playing Butcher, who they don't even like a lot. Fairly high in their lineup, and uh, really have nobody coming up besides. Um, I can't remember his name now, but they have one really good young player coming up. Besides that, they don't have anybody. Subban didn't work out. Uh, their, th their defense is super thin. Now, if they were to pick up Chernak for first, second, and third, that would be this year's first, top first that they have this year. And that's the number seven spot. So they're, they're going to pause at this going, what kind of a player can we pick up there? Do I want to give that up or do I want to wait to get defensemen later? I have a feeling they'll wait for it to get defensemen later. So the per team that I think will make the offer, and I think it's very likely that they make the offer, is the Winnipeg Jets. Winnipeg Jets lost, lost Bufflin, Truba last year, uh, and uh, Sherratt, they played with a patchwork defense all year last year. Um, they have some young players coming up, but nobody to the level of Chernak. Chernak can play on the – is the right-hand defenseman, which are very sought after, and uh, they, they've been looking for another right-handed defenseman for quite a long time, and ever since they lost uh, Truba. They could offer eight. They've got the cap space to do it. They could give their first this year, which is like right around the 12 spot, a second and a third, and I think Tampa Bay lets them go. And I think that would be a hell of a move for Winnipeg. I don't think in that 12 spot you're going to lose out on, on a you're, – you're going to get a player of Chernox. And then the second and third is a crapshoot. Tampa Bay gets their uh, cap space that they need um, – 
well, they, they they get they get rid of they lose a player that they were going to lose anyways. Um, the only thing that Tampa Bay could do is say, I think we can get more than that. So they can go out on the market and uh, early and say, look, we're going to lose them for first, second, and third. Who out there is going to give us more? I'm not sure if anybody will. And if nobody does, I see Winnipeg getting Chernak. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42. Thank you for subscribing and hitting the bell and watching this fine programming. It's been lovely doing this for years. I changed my algorithm several times, and now I very seldom get very many views. But those that do, if they've kept on following me, man, I love you guys. Make sure you comment in the comment section. Tell me if your team should should uh, go after Chernak or anybody else. Tell me what you think about the free agent market trades that may happen for your team and all of that, and I'll make a video of it. Until then, have a great day. Steel Flyers website, steelflyers.com. Don't forget to go there, man. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Lots of love to you.